So this is the image I'm going to use. So the first thing we need to do, so left click here, select the artistic text tool, and then left click and then type your text. And now control A to select all text. We can't see it now because it's 12 points here, 12 pixels. So now I'm going to change the font to Anton. So here it is. And now for the size, I'm going to change it to 900, press enter. So here it is. And now let's select the move tool. And now I'm going to center it. So this method will work in Pixel Studio, Vector, and Layout Studios. So if you right click, so you'll find Create Clipping Max. So if I go to Vector, same thing, they share same menu. So here it is. Now I'm going to go back to Pixel. And now make sure the text is on top of your image layer. Right click on, on the text and then click on Create Clipping Mask. So here it is, as you can see, it clipped our image layer to the shape of the text. And now, for example, if you select the clipping mask here, black and white, you can still change the text inside. Left click, select the artistic tool. So I'm going to double click. So for example, let's type, for example, light. So here it is. So for example, let's type nature. Double click to select all text. You can still, for example, change the font or size. So now I'm going to double click. I'm going to change it to sun. So here it is. And now select the move tool. And now if you select the clipping mask here, you can, for example, from these handles here, if you scale it up, it will, as you can see, keep the image layer and then just scale the text. It will reveal more of the image inside the text. However, if you select this one here, the background, so it will select the whole layer. If you scale it up, it will scale the text and the layer under it. So for example, if I scale it, so here it is, even if you rotate it. So control Z to undo. So now I'm just going to move it here like this to center it. Now I'm going to create a pixel layer. Click on this icon here. And then left click here, select the float fill tool. So this is going to use the background color. So my foreground is black, the background is white. So I'm just going to switch here. I want the background black and then left click. And now I'm going to place my pixel layer here under the text. So here it is. Make sure to not place it inside here. Just place it under like this. So here it is. 